Okay, the second video is benefits of economic growth. Right, so we've uh, just done this in, in, in class and literally the title was should countries aim for economic growth? Yes, it should if you know what the reasons are we want economic growth. Of course, I've just thought about it. It would also turn off the Mars Product Accelerator and then you can draw that diagram, AS and AD going out together. So that's another factor on here. But obviously, rising economic growth will lead to rising incomes, uh, more investment, more demand, increase in AS, increase in productive capacity, which is always really, really important. More taxation and revenue, which is really important right now. Less spending on welfare payments. Therefore, if national debt is 100% of the GDP, one of the things he wanted to try and do is reduce national debt as a percentage of GDP. Do you remember this trust? Growth, growth, growth. Make the pie bigger. Then we can all have a bigger piece of the pie. All of that sort of stuff again. An increase in money spent on public and merit goods. Merit goods are also positive externalities. So that's good for the rest of society. We can also spend more money on a green revolution. So we can create economic development, e.g. remember looking at Costa Rica and everything else and less unemployment. So that is why countries will pursue economic growth. However, there are some drawbacks of it. But we're going to get inequality. We're going to get demand pull inflation. We could do. It's obviously going to damage the environment. And also, if we get more growth, people spend more money, particularly in the UK. In the UK, we have a high marginal propensity to import. And if we have a high NPM, then the trade deficit will get worse. So benefits of economic growth. However, these are the drawbacks.